Hello everybody, this is Discount Dad, and we are loading up episode 4 of this Let's Play of Galactic Civilizations 3. We are playing as the Iridium Trade Empire, a trading corporation in the galaxy. We had kind of a rough shuffle where we did not find any uh, planets to settle, or not very many planets to settle in our previous episodes. So we're definitely kind of uh, behind here as we're trying to catch up with our neighbors. But we just developed, or are about to develop, um, extreme colonization, which is going to allow us to snag another two colonies in decent, uh, decent sized worlds. So we're about to be in much better shape. Um, and then other than that, we have now developed the eyes of the galaxy so we can find where all of the hyperspace um, planets are. Here we go, here we go, here. So we are going to try to send um, pirate, uh, not pirate, freight ships out there and build up our trade empire. We are going heavy on trade. So far, we currently only have two going, uh, but we are working on getting more and more out right now. And we have a lot of bonuses related to trade, so we should start getting pretty decent income soon. And we can have up to nine more, so we're going to work on that. I'm going to try to keep, for now, with the closer neighbors, closer and friendlier neighbors, um, just to keep our, um, our friendship up with them and to hopefully avoid getting in any um, fights. Right? I don't want pirates taking out any of my freighters on the long haul. So let's see. What do we have to do right now? We've got an idle ship. Okay, how many t not applicable turns remaining? Oh, maybe we've got that mysterious hardware. Okay. So let me see. So this ship, the settler ship, is on its way there. This guy can't actually reach. He was going to be my uh, gunboat protecting this ship, but he can't quite reach it. So for now, he's just going to stay where he is. Once this is settled, then I'll send him out there. All right, who else do I have going on? Shipyard idle. Well, I'm wondering if it's now time to start building these uh, defensive ships. That costs antimatter. It's got a lot of shield. I think, what, f yeah, f 12, 12 laser shield seems like a lot since I'm not sure I'm going to be running into lasers. Hmm. Maybe I'll build another freighter for now. I want. I do definitely want to get my military up and running, um, but for now I'm kind of happy to keep uh, improving my relations with my neighbors and hopefully start making some more money. All right, let's uh, idle ship. Who's that? Okay, yeah, he's okay to idle. All right, and then we'll end the turn. Why is this? Okay, one turn remaining. There we go. 15% extreme colonization. Good, so I got a big bonus to development there. And then just ship uh, experience points. All right, and I've got this going, harvesting a lot of resources here. Dead world. Durantium. Okay, so I've got a fair number of these uh, resources being harvested. And then who is this gunboat? Oh yeah, he's coming up here. Okay, let's bring him up here to settle on the star base. Give me a little extra protection. That one I'm happy about because I did not have any um, antimatter before this. Is he getting both antimatter? No, he's only getting the one. This guy is closer. Hmm. Okay. Where is the antimatter? Yeah. So he's only making one of those. Okay. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully, I can build up my. Uh, reach and be closer. One, two, three, four. This thing has got to be one, two, three, four, five. So that's farther away. I might be able to claim that one. All right, let's see here. Idle ship. This guy's idle. All right, let's come down here. Dead worlds, unfortunately. I'm thinking any. I'm thinking anything here is going to have been already claimed. Unfortunately. Okay, ship range. You know, the ship range might help, although armor, point defense, you know, it might be time to start building. Let's see, soil engineering and advanced colony capital. Xeno you know, entertainment. Let's see. My people are not super happy. Production, leader, and consulate. Influence growth. I'm not going for influence very much right now. Resource processing greatly increases the ability of all improvements adjacent to it. 
Okay, so it doesn't do anything on its own, the antimatter power plant. But it does do plus five. Wow, that's pretty powerful. Deep core mining. Hmm. All right, beam weapons. Yeah, I wonder if it's time to start doing... Start doing weapons. All right. Yeah, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. I need to get. I need to start getting some uh, larger ships. I'm gonna go with xenobiology first. Get a little bit more growth going on. Medical center. That would be good. So I'm gonna go with that first, and then after that, I'm gonna start going with weapons. What did I get here? Oh, a spy. Hmm. I don't think I'm being spied on yet. I'm still good on administration capacity, so I don't think I need that. Let's see. Entrepreneur. Boost boost our economy. Let's go with this. We'll get another scientist. And I'm actually going to leave him up now. But at this point, we've got a bit of research for... Obviously, I would get much more bang for my buck with that 3% research here. Um, but I think for now, I'm just going to leave it. 32. Yeah, I need to make one of them a research world, like focused on research world if I'm going to start putting them there forever. So let me see. He's got his own shipyard. All right, how's my... Okay, so galaxy-wide, we're all doing pretty good. Or, uh... System-wide, my people's morale is okay. I know I've got some worlds that are not very happy. 43. 11. Yeah, that's not happy. And then I want that settled soon. All right, idle ship. Yep, he's okay. We'll let him sit. All right, and then let me see. Oh, this is my other world, my lower power world. What should I build here? I don't think I need the hypergates yet. We're still fairly compact. Um, let's see. We'll go with three. I'll build this one. It's a, it's only one extra turn, and I get three attack instead of two attack. So I, actually, I guess I'm going with missiles. I could go with this one. That's even faster, and it has much lower construction cost. All right, I'll do that. We'll start getting a couple more ships. Okay, I've got a, an idle ship here. Where do I want to bring him? Let's get him out here. How many ships do I have there? Two. Two in this fleet. But they're low power. These are my basic early ships, even before they were shielding. So this one ship alone is probably better than both of those other two. Hmm. All right, we'll come out here. Try to stay in the middle. All right, let's save up our game here. Discount Empire 4. Okay. All right, we're harvesting everything. Not quite close enough to harvest that yet, it looks like. All right, end the turn. Colonized planet, yes. Got it. Your geologists have come across an incredibly rich vein of rare minerals, which could dramatically increase the economic output of the colony. Unfortunately, accessing them will be incredibly dangerous work. Even with the use of automated tools, the entire colony will be more exposed to radioactive elements. Let's see. So if I go with this one, if it can't be done safely, it can't be done at all. Let's see. Do what you can, using as many automated techniques as possible. Mine it all. Rare minerals are rare in a way that people aren't. That's actually not true for us. We're a slow-growing people. Um... Now, we are ultra-capitalists, so we would want to mine it, but I also don't want to mine it in such a way that it's not sustainable. And sacrificing 50% population growth, I think, is too much. So we're going to go with this one. We'll take a few risks, but we're not going to uh, scuttle our entire economy for it. Plus, we don't actually get a bonus here. It's just malevolent points. Hmm. I see. You get the just as good of a bonus. This is kind of a weird one. I wish it was... Less economy, medium economy, more economy. Because as it seems, other than wanting the points, you don't really get anything for it. Well, I'm going with pragmatic, because that's what we are. Ooh, this this looks like a good world. 
All right, let's see. What do we have here? A haven, idyllic. Okay, arable land. Population, population. So this is where to, I'm going to put a city if I ever need one. For now, let me see. I think the supply depot is a good boost at the beginning. All right, let's put it here. Nine turns, Colonial Hospital, get growth, that's good. Also plus two to level of population, level of wealth. Okay, let's get some farming, some factories up. Starport needs a sponsored shipyard. Okay, so I need a shipyard first. All right, let's do the space elevator. Adjacent, so that one is better off being adjacent to stuff. All right, space elevator. Oh, that's ship construction. And plus one to all construction, okay. So let's cancel that. We're actually gonna end up getting these close. Space elevator here, factory here, and then here we're putting our shipyard. Oh no, that's where we'll put the, we'll put the starport there. The shipyard goes in space, and then we'll put the starport there when it's built. Okay, and We'll leave that there for now. Eventually, we're going to start getting some other stuff in there. Okay. We've got not much growth. So we'll just leave that for them. Leave that to grow. I should get some uh, shipyards on my other worlds just so I'm taking advantage of the construction I'm getting on its own. Okay. A freighter is being launched from a shipyard with multiple sponsors. Choose its home world. Uh, I'll pick my big one. Is that that guy? Yeah, where should I send him? Where's he going? He's going there to them. I don't know who any of these cultures are. Where's he going? There. Okay. So let's send this guy. Who else should I settle with here? We'll go to these guys. They're f it's far away, but I think that's okay. It'll take a few turn a few extra turns to set up. Class 1, Dead World, 13, oh, that's the capital, so I'm going to get that anyway. Class 14, Excellent World, hmm. Actually, maybe I should go there. I'm not sure whether I'm better off settling on more planets or, you know, starting trade routes with more empires or sticking with one group that I know. Right, I'm going to go to the other one. Can I settle? Ah, I missed it by one, darn Okay. This one's making 70 bucks a turn. That's good. Oh, but he's not building anything. Hospital? Do I need growth? Yeah, my growth could go up a lot. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. And it's got that level 2 boost, so the growth is actually going to be plus 50%, I believe. So I like that. All right, and then I don't have any more... I don't think I need another farm. I think I overbuilt these farms when I was doing it. So what can I put here instead? Yeah, what can I put there instead? Um, hmm. Provides a charge that will create a warship. I could work on that. Oh. Base elevator or starport. Oh, I don't actually have a starport yet. That's why I have to build. Okay, let's build the starport to the top. I can't believe I missed that one. Okay. All right, and then do I have any upgrades that I can do, or is everything upgraded already? Hmm. Looks like it's upgraded. All right, we'll leave that alone. Is that building? Yeah, one turn. Okay, good. All right, and then this guy. He's still got a lot of stuff getting built. Okay, what is that, a farm? I don't need that farm. Cancel. Yeah, my, my population's okay right now. But here, let's put a starport. Let's get that ship construction going. 
Oh, factory, factory, farm. That's where I want the starport. Bump that right up to the top. We'll allow the Illyrium extraction. I'm happy to get some extra Illyrium without having to find it on land. Cancel that starport. Wait, why did it delete that one? Nope. Cancel the starport. Click there. Starport. Why can't I build it there? Interesting. Can you only build a farm on arable land? All right, well, let's let's upgrade the soil here then. Let's not build this starport there because I still want that starport closer to the factories to get the bonus to construction. Huh. Okay, maybe I can only build farms there. Well, I'll let that happen, but it seems kind of like a waste. All right, and then a soil upgrade. Let me see. Maybe I'll put the populate this here, and then that way I'll be able to build a city next to the hospital because they'll be able to build on each other. Okay. All right, done there. Wait, let me get that starport up. Oh, oh yeah, I have to finish that for the starport. Okay. Factory, let's build the factory faster. And then the soil upgrade. We want we want this happening sooner rather than later. I'll actually put that first. Then we'll do the two factories. Yeah. Okay, good. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Okay, do I have this already? How many points do I have? 35 points to spend. Luxury trade routes. Not only more profitable, they increase the influence and approval of the planets they connect. Okay. I'm happy for that. Okay. It improves relations with the civilizations we have trade routes with. So I'm definitely going for that when I get there next time. All right. I want my goods to be essential to all of these worlds. Idle ship. Excellent. Let's get him up there defending that world. Shipyard idle. Okay, let's see. Missile ships, gunboats. I'm going to wait on building any more until I have uh, better defenses, different types of weapons. Wasn't Did I build some of these? There we go. Okay. Making point five. Okay. Let's see. How much does it make if I send it here? Also 0.5. Yeah, I'll keep it on Iridia. Okay. I'm not sure how many of those asteroid mining belts I'm going to do. Okay. Let's see. Let's get that settled there. Next turn. Where's this guy going? Where is he going? Oh, just there. Okay, I'll send him here to the frontier. Uh, who else do I... Actually, I'm going to send him here to this frontier. This one's doing a lot of essential resources also. And this one's already got a better ship. Uh, and that, that one's pretty good too. So I'll send him there and I'll, I'll reassign... What kind of missiles do I have here? A laser. I'll reassign a missile boat to here. Okay. Okay, so he's moving pretty quickly. All right, and then let's let it go. Shipyard idle. All right, let's do another trader. Hmm. Yep, let's do another. I'm going to keep doing traders. What do I have here? Do I have a ship? No. No. All right, let me see here. How do I destroy these rally points? I don't need them anymore. There you go, delete. Delete, okay. 
I'll just let the ship settle there. Okay, next turn. All right, let's start that trade route. Look, another one of the bizarre multicellular forms this galaxy seems to prefer. Greetings to you. Our markets are the envy of the galaxy. Yeah, let's see what we can trade for. Advanced engineering and colonial engineering. Oh, I like both of those. Anything that gets me... Uh... Yeah, let's see, am I working on this one? That's all. No, I'm doing xenobiology. Perfect. Okay. So let's do some diplomacy with these guys again. All right. I want those two techs. He's got a ton of Prometheum, but he doesn't have much other stuff. How much does one of these do? Okay. So he's not interested in that at all. What about antimatter? That does help. Okay. So he doesn't have any antimatter and he wants it. Hmm. Okay, that one is fine, because I've already built the eyes of the universe. So I'm happy to give that to him. Let's see, what else can I offer? He has Promethean, Thulium. He doesn't have any Illyrium, and I'm, I'm making a fair amount of that. Okay, he likes that. So how much... Can I get some coins from him in exchange? Offer 80. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Get two technologies, 6 and 13 turns worth. So that bumps me up 19, 20 turns in my research. Yeah, happy to do it. Okay, and so I want to get this guy. He's powerful. His, uh, is it military power? Not military power. Let's see, so he's, they're starting to not like me. So hopefully I will uh, get some trade going with them and make them happier. All right, let's see this, these trade routes that we've got now. Civilization tree eight. Okay, nice. Oh yeah. When I switched that to the luxury developments, all of these went up by almost double. Huh. Wow. Okay. Well I'm happy about that. Thirty dollars a week in, in revenue. Okay, so how can I diplomacy with these guys to make them like me more? Okay, so we can't do friendship yet. Create a treaty with this player. We let's see. For a small weekly fee, we may be able to lower tension. We'd like to offer you 2.2. You know that might be worth it. Thank you very much. We're grateful for the support. The generosity of the Iridium Corporation will be remembered throughout the EXP4 faction draft underscore name for years to come. All right, perfect. I don't know if you saw that last time. This is the second time that bug has come up. I didn't have a chance to patch the game because I haven't had internet since uh, I played last. So unfortunately, we can't do anything there. All right, so hopefully he likes me a little more. Has He hasn't liked me yet, but the uh, I'm making enough money. I feel like what else am I using my trade for other than making friends with him? All right. And the turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, to make friends with this guy by spending money since I'm making more than that money with him each turn. This actually might be something I'm going to go and do with everybody. Let's see. Because I'm making 8 from him, and I'm spending 2 of it to keep him happy. And from the Earthlings, I'm making 20. Let me see. How do they feel about me? Unfriendly. Let's speak to them. All right. Let's talk about something else. Assure you of friendship. And let me see. Offer 2.4. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to buy some uh, licenses here. Okay, so they are liking me a lot more now. Ooh, they don't like me much yet, and they don't care about me either way. So I need to get some trades sent out to both of these guys. So they're the circle with the green and the spiral Pokeball thing. All right, there's the circle with the green. That's a class 11 world. That's their capital. Where are, is my nearest fleet, or my nearest trade fleet? Let me see. Do I have any trade fleet ships out? Yeah, this is one. Okay, I've got a guy on, on its way already. Good. And then these guys, is that their home world? I'm not sure. I don't know why I don't see them on the radar. I'm sure they must be there, though. But I can't 
get really I don't have anybody with range to get there. I'm gonna have to send a fleet a uh, trade fleet out on its own. Colonized planet? Yes. The planet was once home of a fairly advanced alien species that created some extremely long-lasting subsentient AI. Something you've done has triggered these systems' defensive protocols, and now anyone who ventures outside of the colony is at risk of attack from primitive robotic creatures. All right, let me see. As long as we're sure they're subsentient, there's no harm in taking defensive measures to thin out the robots. Let's just make sure to feel a little guilty about it. They may be set up a museum to study them. Uh, so I can get research and influence, research and manufacturing, or malevolent and tourism. Ah, making it a uh, Westworld situation. I like the tourism. I want the money. But I think the research and manufacturing is going to be more profitable. Okay, we are going to start clobbering these robots who are trying to take over our, our planet. Let's see, rare de planetary deposit that can be mined for thulium. Nice, we have a resource on there. All right, so here we start with the supply depot, which is a boost to construction. And then from there we do starport. Or should I just do a regular factory first? Engineering center. Hmm. Build that on my home world. All right, let's go with a, let's just go with a factory here. get that going and then from here we will work on yeah this is going to be a construction world I'm going to go heavy on uh, construction stuff okay so if I go all in on flight stuff on this one let's see so we'll do a starport I can have one of these per planet and then engineering center Oh, that, that's only one per player. So I, I think I want that on my main world. So I'll go with that. Let's see, increases our world's food. How is the hydroponic farm different from the regular farm? It costs way more. It doesn't seem better. Huh, maybe, oh, maybe the farms can only be built on farmland. That must be it. Okay, market center. I think I'm gonna go with the space elevator. All right, and then let's get the thulium extraction going. All right, and then should we keep going with, you know, I think I'm gonna do the Colonial Hospital, even though, although growth, I'm gonna be, without, if I don't build a city, I'm gonna be hitting the limit. Not enough food to build the city. How much do I have here? Hmm. Okay, well, I think I'm okay for here. I'll just leave it at this, and when that finishes, I'll wait and see how it's, how it's going. But I need... Okay, so both of these worlds are going to the same starport. Sponsored manufacturing. So he's doing 5.2. He's doing 6. That's 11. That's pretty good. Can I move this? I can but I think it's okay for now. Yeah, it seems to be getting enough. All right, that new world though is gonna really help. Let me see. Yep, okay, so the distance, it's only at five, five uh, hexes away and it looks like it's still receiving 100% of what it's sending. So I'm happy about that. Okay. So we'll just leave those there. And I'm definitely going to go heavy on on uh, resources in that case. Let's build a farm since that's all that can be good for. We'll build a hospital. We will go for the hospital build. And then we'll build a city eventually. That does population and wealth. That does population. Start upgrading these these planets or these things. All right, so we'll put the city here next to the farm. Actually, we'll put the city here next to this. 
because both of these give plus two population and this one it can take better advantage of the construction. So we'll do that and then we'll build something else too. We're probably gonna go heavy on construction still. So we'll put it here and then that way we can get another three peat of construction, I think. Yep, and upgrade the colony capital, of course. All right, we've got a lot of work to do on this one. Got the factories coming in soon though, so that should help. All right, we will, actually I think the space elevator does all construction. So let's bump that up. That'll help build the other things faster. Okay, done there. All right, let's save the game. Okay, all right, I'm pretty happy with w the way things are going here. This one's gonna need a, a, a shipyard soon too, but I've still got a lot of time before that's done. Okay, population's okay. What about here? Population is not okay. Uh, too high. I've got the factory. Okay, I've got a city coming, so hopefully that will be done soon. Okay, let me see here. Cannot build, not enough food. Ah. Okay, we'll build the farm too. If it doesn't build the city, we'll uh, take a look at that. It allowed me to try it though, so we'll have to see. Maybe it just means we can't build another one. Uh, is everything going good there? Factory, factory, factory. I like that. But I can't develop this one. Oh, there we go. The soil engineering allows me to turn the ocean into land. Because I want to get all three of these factories working together here. Alright, and then we'll be done there. How is this one going? My, my research world. Okay, I don't think I need this space the space elevator actually. I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna go with the supply depot to get the morale and a factory to get things built. Um, but after that, I'm just gonna go for research here. I was thinking about it. It's too small to do a lot of building. So I might as well just go as much as I can on getting things uh, researched here. Why can't I, oh, I'm already trying to build the other ones. Okay, I'll wait until those are finished and then try to build that. Okay, so I think we're done there. What can I research? All right, let's see, I got the upgraded ship designs. Yeah, look at all these, excellent. All right, growth plus 30%, Xeno Medical Center, and Xylolology Project. I have no idea. Evolutionary properties of rare trees. That does not sound very helpful. All right, let's see here. Colonization focus. Normalizes production of aquatic worlds and boosts their wealth and tourism. All right, normalize production of frozen worlds, normalize production of barren worlds, and boost their manufacturing and military. Okay. Let's see. Terraforming. Ooh, one extra plant. I like that. Subatomic organization, zero gravity construction. That's what I need. Okay. Allow construction of medium sized hulls. I like that. Ooh, but if I do this, I get 10% production everywhere. Boy. No, you know, I think I'm going to go with the ships. Carriers. Carries two fast and deadly assault fighters. Give Starbase five interceptor drones. Hmm. There are a lot of good options here. All right, tourism. I'm gonna go with the tourism one, I think. It doesn't sound like it's essential, but as long as I'm racing to try to make more money, it could be a good a good start. Okay, an idle ship. What do I have here? Who's idle? This is my scout ship. Why did he stop? Hmm. Yeah, let's check out this world here. I don't think I'm gonna find anything free. Altarian Resistance, good to meet you. All right, well, I'm happy to meet a new planet. Construction of terraforming plants, that's the one I just started to research. Xeno Entertainment. Let's see, 
and range extension. I'd like both of those. They're not worth very much, though, only two turns. Can I trade her that one? Yeah, that's the one I've already given to the other guy. Doesn't hurt me at all. And then let's see, can I get terraforming also? Not interested. Okay, what if I offer like one or two? She has a bunch of thulium already. No, she doesn't want that. Okay. Does she have duranium? Yep. Antimatter. So the first antimatter gives a big boost. Okay, I'll offer that one. And does she have Illyrium? Yes, she, okay, she'll take that. All right, and then 200 coins. 200 coins for three technologies. Yeah, I'm happy for that one. Okay. Oh, and I meet another race. The Torian regime acknowledges your presence, but trusts you little. Are you monsters like the Drengen? Let's trade. Oh, uh, they don't have any technologies that we don't have. Okay, so they don't have anything, so let's talk about something else. Let's assure friendship. Okay. All right. Yep. Do another big world. And who did I just meet? Let me see. Are these... What's the yellow line? Oh, trading. Okay, good. Yeah, we've got our trade, trade relationship. All right. Yeah, so let's just keep... Try to keep everybody happy. Unfriendly. Okay, let's let's proclaim friendship. All right, I'm happy to tell everybody that I do not want to fight with them because, in fact, I don't want to fight with them. If uh, if my economic engine is going to eventually take over here. All right, let's talk about something. Express friendship. All right, let's see. Do we have anything to trade? Armor spice, Arnor spice, hypersilicates. They've got a lot of stuff, but no technology that we don't have. Okay, my technology is racing ahead. I like that. All right, let's see my own my own race here. Okay, good. Yeah, we are first technologically and tourism income. Although, hmm, I thought we didn't have tourism yet, but I'm happy for it. Second in treasury. I don't know how we're only second. Yeah, who's in first? The Altarians. Huh. Well, let's get trading with them then. Wait, what was their sign? The, the horned thing. Where is that? These guys here. Okay. Is it out of range for my long haul ship? It's not. Okay, we're sending our guy down. One foreign ship. Where? Wood over water, a trade ship. Is it? Hopefully he's coming to me. Okay. All right. And then we need even more uh, traders here. Done. Okay. Next turn. Okay. Let me see. All right. It might be time to get my uh, trade ships bigger engines to get them places faster. Dead World, Prometheon. Okay, there's resources there, but that's it. Okay, nothing there. All right, let's send this ship here. We're gonna we're gonna send the scout to explore this region here, which belongs to these guys, the uh, the Onyx Hive. Okay, check out our artifacts. What does that mean? Nanotransmitters able to transmit a stream of nanites to any part of the galaxy. Spawn an overlord ship. Should I try it? Let me let me save the game first. I'm not sure what quality ship this is gonna be. Use the artifact. Can I put it anywhere I want? This galaxy has been the home of alien intelligence for billions of years. More things have been invented and forgotten than we have ever learned, but not this. This, whatever it is, will be ours. Cool. It is not very good. I mean, it looks cool. Large hull, but that's all it's got on it. 
upgrade. Can I upgrade it? Hmm. Details. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm not I'm not very impressed with it. Let me see. I might I might hold off and do that later when I have the ability to upgrade it more quickly. And it's only got three movement. Hmm. Where is my ship designer? Design ship. Let's see, can I find it? I can't really upgrade that one. Okay. Well, maybe I'll hold off then. Yeah, I'm gonna load the game. I'll spawn that later. We'll have to see whether it gets better as time goes on. Okay, taking a little bit to load. Okay, I think we'll leave it all for now. I can use that later if I need to. Okay, is everybody going? Yeah, turn. All right, still happy to get these. Let's see, mysterious weapon hardware. Where is that one? Where is my survey ship here? That's one of the survey ships. Okay, here's my other survey ship and it's gotten quite the uh, alien hardware here. I like that and that's all found stuff. One, two, two, three. One of my best ships now with 39 hit points. All right, yeah, I'm happy to uh, have that guy in the in the galaxy now because he keeps finding and, and integrating uh, alien resources. I wish he were a little faster. And the turn. Okay, and we are getting right up here to the end of the episode. So let's do another round. Or, oh, here we go. Launch that other trade ship. All right, where do I want him to go? I've got, do I have one sailing down here already? No, I don't. Okay. So let's get him down here. I want to have trade relations with every culture that I can see. Yep, get it to their to their homeworld. Get those luxury, yeah, those luxury trade routes up and running, and then I can use the income from the trade routes to uh, make them like me. Why won't you like me? All right, and now it's time to start building ships. I believe we are. Uh, getting powerful enough that I think we're eventually going to start becoming a target. And so I might as well get some uh, ships in play. Do I still only have shields though? Hmm. Okay, I don't like that. I need to get I need to get some armor researched. Let me see. Well, that is it's true that I need to get some armor researched, but it can wait for whenever. Thulium Antimatter, Illyrium. What do I have the most of? Prometheon, Antimatter. Okay, I don't have a ton of any of these. Thulium, I have the most of. Okay. So three, four, and they both use two Thulium. So I might as well go for the one with the more powerful weapons. And it's got the small hole. It's got the extra hit points. Okay. Start building that, the Inforce. All right, we'll get that in play, and then we are going to get some, as soon as this tourism is done, it's time to start researching uh, wep weapon systems and armor systems. All right, and that is going to wrap up this episode. I'll leave it here for now. I hope you guys will come back and join me for the next episode. Um, please give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you're notified when I publish my, my next one, and I will see you then. Have a great day.